frantic search for a stolen vehicle. The vehicle in question, a 57 ton M60 patent tank. And Abel, we're over the head of it. We are rolling videotape. The tank is fully equipped with a machine gun and a 105 millimeter cannon, and it appears to be bent on destruction. He's doing his part on purpose. He's running over fire hydrants. You got hydrants that are blowing water in the air now. At this point, police have no idea if the tank is armed. Have somebody get a hold of the armory and find out if this thing is loaded, if he can actually do any damage with it other than killing people by running them over. The suspect is a military veteran who has stolen the tank from a local armory. Yeah, he's rolling over just about anything he wants to. Police desperately tried to figure out a way to stop it. Uh, well, no, I don't, to be honest with you. Not only is he going after parked cars, he's going after oncoming cars as well. After terrorizing the neighborhood, he heads for the main street and shows little regard for the traffic signal. San Diego Police Department, get out of the way, get out of the street, you're in danger. San Diego Police Department, stay out of the street. Almost 15 minutes into the rampage, he makes his way to the freeway. This is bad. Oh my god. I hear that trying to take a bridge out. Well, it's a pedestrian bridge south of Balboa. There's nobody on it right now. Unable to bring down the bridge, he gives up and moves on. Then, a half mile later, the suspect tries to jump the freeway divider and head into oncoming traffic. Oh my god. Abel. But the potentially deadly act turns out to be the break police have been waiting for. Abel, he's just high centered it on the center divide. He's stuck. There's no way he's getting off that. Be careful if you get close there. Several officers rush the tank. As they try to open the hatch, the driver makes one last effort to get the tank free. Abel, they're trying to get the hatch open right now. The guy's still inside and he's not out. They can't get the hatch open. So he is stopped, though. Uh, well, he's he can't move, but he's trying to real hard. Moments later, the police get the hatch open and the driver is killed. In the end, over 40 cars are demolished, dozens of hydrants are turned into geysers, and several streetlights are toppled. When you consider the size and power of the tank and the extent of the damage that it created, it's remarkable that no innocent bystanders were hurt.